morning, everyone, and happy Friday. My name is Stephanie Lambing, and I am a therapist here at the Stephen A. Cohen Military Family Clinic at Valley Cities here in Lakewood, Washington. And today, I thought I'd come on and show you guys a fun and simple art activity that is great to do if you have a little bit of free time, which right now we might all find ourselves with quite a bit of free time. So this is a fun and safe activity that we can do either alone at home or with other individuals, even our family. It's also a great activity for some social distancing because it's going to be a little messy. And of course, because of that, we're all going to need a little bit of space. So feel free to grab some of your family members, get a few people, and maybe get some space in between you and things all set up and join me with this fun art activity. So today, what I thought I'd show you guys is how to make a hope vessel. This is something that, as you can see here, is colorful, it's fun, and it's made out of a few simple materials that you can find maybe in your house or at a few local stores. This not only is it colorful and fun, but it's also, and this is my favorite part of this whole activity, it is chock full of really good positive messages, which right now and with some of the stress and other things that we may be facing in life, this is really a great source of comfort and something that I like to turn to when I'm in a need or in the mood for a little bit of a pick. So I thought I'd show you guys just how to do that by using some of the different materials that we have here. So let me go ahead and introduce you to some of what we'll be doing today. In order to create this, it'll be kind of like taking a trip back in time to some of our middle school days where we made some of those fun and wild, messy things out of paper mache. That's kind of what we'll be doing today too. So because of that, we're gonna need to start off with a balloon, a paper plate that we can tape it down to because that's the wild side starts to roll once we add things to it. Of course, maybe a tablecloth for a covering, um, as well as some old clothes. So then that way, if you do get some of the messy goodness on you, it's not so damaging, right? Some other things that we're also going to need today too are some tissue paper or other pieces of paper that you may find, some scraps around your house, things of that nature that may have some personal meaning to you. So what I did today was I took some time and I found some little messages that I wrote to myself um, over the last couple of months and even too over the last couple of days. Just little positive messages that I thought I'd like to add to the inside of my hope vessel to really give it that kind of wow factor that I want it to have when I go to look. And so then that way when I do look at it, it sparks a ton of joy inside, right? Because that's the purpose of it, is to give me something to kind of bring up that smile. And that's why I really wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, the next thing that I'd like to show you guys too here is the glue that's gonna keep this all together and that's Mod Podge. This is one of the most important items that we're going to need for our activity today. In addition to that, we're also going to need just an old kind of paintbrush. I found one that I've used for quite a bit of paintings over my time. And so it's a little rusty, it's a little old and that's okay uh, because I'm gonna get it all goopy here with my Mod Podge. Um, so if it does get ruined, it's not something that's going to break my heart. Of course, you can also find two chip brushes at your local hardware store or even at your local art store, as well as Michael's and some of those wonderful places online, right, like Amazon. And so what we can also do today, too, is add some embellishments to this as well. So I have some glitter here that's a little bit thicker, as well as some different types of stickers. And of course, too, some different types of paper in addition to my tissue paper uh, to really kind of just make this pop. So before I get started on any of this stuff, I like to take a moment just to kind of set my mind before I get into my activity. Although it's fun to really just dive right in, I really want to have the right intention before I get into it. And so I'd like for you guys to take kind of a mini mental moment here with me and just kind of shake it off. So we're gonna take a nice big deep breath. <sighs> really just kind of let it out, right? If you want to, wiggle your toes in your shoes, or really to just kind of push your feet into the ground, feeling a little bit more connected in the space that you're in. What I also like to do is just give myself a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> um, so then that way too, I can kind of reset myself. Because I don't know about you guys, but oftentimes with some of the stuff that I hear and some of the things that are going on, I get pretty stressed. And so I really want to just let all that stress go so I can take this moment, and so hopefully you guys can too at home, 
to really enjoy the activity that we're going to get into because it's really nice and stress reducing, which is what I love about it so much. Not only do we get this fantastic item at the end, but it's not just about the product. It's a lot about the product. Really taking some good time for ourselves and making something that really hits home. So with that being said, now that I feel like I've kind of set my tone, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is take our balloon and blow it up. Now, when you think about making your hope vessel there at home, you might want to keep in mind, what do you want it to look like? I've made mine pretty big. So as you can see here, it probably covered most of the balloon. Although you may want to make something a little bit smaller or maybe even possibly a dish, right? So when you blow up your balloon, you might want to think of just how large you'd like your vessel to be. I think for me, that's about good. What I've noticed for myself in the past, and this is just a personal challenge, is that the larger the balloon gets for me, the little bit more uh, wild it gets. And so I find that it kind of bounces all over the place. So I like to keep mine a little bit smaller because I want to really cover as much of it as I possibly can. Um, I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more similar to the one that I have over here. So it seems almost like a base shape a little bit. The other thing too, to kind of keep in mind while you're doing this, of course, is again, that kind of wild aspect to this whole thing, the balloon moving around. The more layers that we add to our balloon, the more that it's gonna to get top heavy. So I like to take a few pieces of tape and just tape it down to my paper plate here. So that way it doesn't get too rolly. All right. Now I'm still going to have to use some of my own hand as I, point, as I paint some of this on and add some of the items just to kind of steady it a little bit. So if there's anything that you find at home, such as like a little piece of cardboard or maybe even a little chunk of paper to kind of stuff underneath it, that might help it in giving it some extra support. For me, like I said, I like to get kind of messy, so I'm just gonna hang on to it. That's the fun part for me. So I'm gonna roll up my sleeves here and go ahead and open up my Mod Podge. Now before I get started with my first layer, this is something to kind of keep in mind really maybe take a moment and think about before you dive into. I know definitely I have to do that because with the Hope Vessel, we're going to build it from the inside out. So what goes down on the first layer is what you're going to see on the inside. So we actually want it to face away from us when we put it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to start by adding a little bit of Mod Podge, a kind of thin first layer to the balloon. And I know that I have some of my messages and images over here already that I'm going to add to my first layer. So as you can see, I'm just going to paint this all around. And you don't have to use a ton. And in fact, that's going to be something to kind of keep in mind throughout this whole activity is just how much Mod Podge you use. Uh, because at the end, of course, we're going to leave our balloon and our uh, wonderful Hope Vessel to dry for a little while. So the more Mod Podge that's on here, the longer the drying time, because it's gonna be a little bit thicker. And yet again, we also wanna keep in mind too, that we do want enough Mod Podge to be able to coat and really saturate all of our paper and the surfaces. So that way it gets through to it. So there's no parts that kind of stick out at the end or pop out. But I'll show you guys too here at the end, just a way that you can put one last coat of Mod Podge on it to really uh, seal it all up, give it a nice kind of final coat. So now that I've gone and I've painted a pretty decent layer here, I'm going to set my brush down and I'm going to pick up some of the different, like I said, quotes, messages, things like that, that I have over here and I'm going to put them face down onto the balloon. Now, of course, if you have stickers, right, they're going to get a little sticky, so you might have to like kind of manage it a bit. And yet at the same time, um, the fun effect that you get at the end is with stickers, they're really nice and bright. You can really kind of see them through. And not that you don't get that with your paper as well, but that's what I love about some of these is that color really just kind of pops. So I'm gonna take a few of these and I'm going to start to add them to the layer, this first layer here. Okay, 
So what I'm going to do is add some of these stickers that I found. And so what I've got here are some flowers, which here's that fun part. They're going to try to fight me a little bit as I stick them down to the balloon because of that sticky side. I've also got a sun here that says shine on it. As well as I found this awesome little thing that says let's stay home. I feel like that might be a little appropriate for what's going on right now. Um, in addition to that, I also found some really cool things that says um, just some positive messages for the self, right? Like have some fun, today's a good day, things of that nature. So really whatever you guys find, personalize this and make it your own. You may have different things that you find around the house already, other stickers that you have, maybe quotes. I know too that I've been collecting some of my fortune cookie messages. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of those to my balloon as well for today. This one says, if you can imagine it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can become it. I love some of these messages. I feel like maybe later on when I go to look at this, it's not only gonna spark a lot of joy for me, but at the same time, it's also going to remind me of some of those wonderful kind of qualities, strengths, resources that are out there in the world and that we find within each other. So some of these other messages that I'm adding here, I've got a little uh, old coloring book paper that I kind of chopped up that I'm gonna stick down. And what you may find too is that as you add some of these pieces, especially if they're a little bit larger, that they might require a little of that extra Mod Podge just to kind of get them stuck. So I don't know if you can see here, I'm just taking my brush and kind of dragging it across that coloring book page that I added really just to kind of get some of the Mod Podge in there and get it stuck down. I'm also going to go ahead and take this time and just go back over top of some of the other things that I've already got there to give them that extra little coat so I can continue to add. Uh, so this is really going to be the overall process of building our hope vessel is just continuing to add layer upon layer. And again, really, there's no right or wrong way to make this project. Um, you can add whatever you'd like to it. Sometimes people even find uh, chunks of fabric, maybe old pieces of like a, a rag or a cloth that they had that they really like, some of the colors that they like, and they cut it up and use that. I've also seen two others use uh, some plaster uh, bandages first to kind of create a nice hard surface and then adding the tissue paper on top of that. So really, the sky's the limit. It's whatever you guys would kind of like your hope vessel to look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue the process here and add some extra stickers. And I'm going to start to think about in the back of my mind, what are some of the colors that I'd like to kind of go on, on around this? Um, I'm going to start to work on my second layer here pretty soon and add some of those other uh, pieces of tissue paper and color. So I'm going to start to kind of get an idea in mind of what I want that to turn out or what colors I'd like to start with first. Um, a few other things too that you guys can add at any time of this activity is of course some glitter, right? Some maybe magazine images too. Anything again that you find uh, that would really kind of just take this project to the next level. Something that I found that really kind of just uh, made me smile was a little bit of a quote, um, and this always makes me think of my dad. It says, remember that your natural state is joy. And that's by Dr. Wayne Dyer. And I remember that my dad always used to watch him. So when I found this, I was like, ah, something that kind of, again, hits home for me, makes me think of family, my loved ones. So definitely something that I want to add to my hope vessel because they're a big part of that for me. So I'm going to go ahead and because that paper is a little extra thick, I'm going to add some Mod Podge to that. And in fact, I know that with this one, I'm going to have to build up a little bit of a layer around it just simply because it's not as thin as the other pieces. That so as I add a little extra here, as you can see, I'm still just supporting the balloon with one hand. Um, of course, again, if you find anything that you can use, again, a little bit of a cardboard, uh, some paper, something to just kind of support it, you'll have, of course, both hands a little bit more uh, free reign to kind of add. Um, but I like to hang on to it a little bit. It gives me a little bit more control over where I'm placing the pieces. Um, 
and over the balloons. So again, I'm just kind of adding my messages here. I've got a fun little piece of special paper that I collected uh, from a great art shop that I went to down in Portland several years ago. So as you guys can see, right, I'm just kind of adding um, really personal items to, to my balloon um, because again, I really want to look at this have it bring a lot of feelings of happiness about. So I'm just going to go ahead and start to layer here a little bit. And of course, as I do, again, continuing to come back in with the Mod Podge and creating another layer over top, right? We're just continuing to add and glue down. So another kind of stress relieving part of this activity that I always really enjoy is just the simple process of dragging the brush across your balloon and to just kind of smooshing down this paper. Feels kind of satisfying to be able to spend a little extra time and slowly just kind of smooth some of this out. But I'm really staying present because, again, as we talked about earlier, I really want to enjoy this time for myself. So I'm not going to, if my mind goes to any of the other things that are going on out there, stuff that I've got coming up later, I'm just going to kind of let that go. I'm going to focus solely on what I'm doing here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to start to add some tissue paper. So I've got all kinds of pieces of paper already ripped up inside uh, my container here. that I'm just going to start to press down. But of course, another really fun activity in case uh, you don't already have pre-ripped pieces of tissue paper, which I'm going to show you here, guys, because I absolutely love this and I had another piece that I didn't have ripped up yet, uh, that I had saved per, for a project just like this because it's got some polka dots on it. And uh, that was one that I hadn't found before. So the other thing that we can do here is ripping, right? I absolutely love ripping paper. It's a great stress reliever. You get all that feelings of anxiety and anger energy kind of out, right? And ripping up our paper and at the same time it looks fun and a little bit silly too so hey um, you do you right you gotta really kind of make this your own and enjoy the process here so now that I've got my pieces ripped up whoops, and I'm throwing them around a little bit I'm gonna take some of those and go back to my balloon and again continue to add to them So, and again, guys, as I said, really make this your own, right? Play your own favorite music. Um, really kind of add some specialty uh, characteristics and qualities to this so you can maximize your time and effort and enjoy the whole act. Now that I've added a good portion of tissue paper down, I'm going to start to wrap up my project. So what I'm going to do here, and as you can see, I'm just adding another layer of Mod Podge here. And since this is going to be one of my last layers, I really want to coat it on and just make sure that the paper is saturated. Now, of course, for you guys, you may want to make this a lot thicker. You may want to add a ton of different embellishments, stickers, all kinds of good things. So because of that, feel free to keep working, right? Whenever you get to your last layer, one important thing to keep in mind is that we really just want to make sure that all of these little chunks that are sticking up are glued down. And take a moment to do that. What you might also find too is that because of the kind of texture of tissue paper, you do get a little bit of texture to your vessel here as well. Um, of course though too, if you're using any fabric, things of that nature, magazine images and such, you may also I find that you have some smooth spots, but mine's going to look kind of bumpy here, which I like because um, I'm going to go ahead and use that as an opportunity too to just kind of accentuate it a little bit by adding some of my glitter, which is going to be my next step here before I put on my very final glitter. So with that being said here, guys, I really hope that you've enjoyed this activity today. I hope that you're able to spend some time uh, either alone, individually, with your families, 
really kind of diving into this, giving yourselves an opportunity to create something personal and meaningful to you. So now that it looks like that I've added all of my Mod Podge, it looks like my layer is pretty sealed down here. I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle on my glitter. So as you can see here too, it's thicker, it's chunkier glitter. Um, it's gonna stick out a little bit more, so it'll be kind of three-dimensional. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top here. Of course, another option as well is you can always kind of roll the balloon in it a little bit. That's kind of the nice part of the paper plate. It's a little bit of a catch-up. So I kind of want mine just to look a bit scattered though. I'm just kind of sprinkling it on here and there. And I know too that as I go through and add this one last layer of Mod Podge, I'm also gonna move it around a bit. And that's okay. I want it to look organic. I just want it to kind of look like it was uh, tossed on a bit. So uh, the more sporadic it kind of looks and the more that it moves around, that's fine with me. All right. So as I finish this up, I just want to again, thank everyone so very much for joining me today. I hope you had some fun. I hope you got a little bit of a chance to take some time for yourself and not only do something enjoyable, but maybe even to spend some time with some of your loved ones while we're all kind of stuck inside here together. So for myself and from everyone here at the Stephen A. Cohen Military Family Clinic at Valley Cities here in Lakewood, stay home, stay protected, stay safe, everyone. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.